Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today we have release dates for two new AMD GPUs, Nvidia's next gen GPU is on the way, Intel's 12th gen CPUs are incredible, and your GPU could be destroyed if you play this game. Okay, it's news time and first up for today, while well, AMD promised a couple new GPUs within the first half of this year, they only ever delivered on the RX 6700 XT. That's of course likely thanks to the GPU shortage, but it's looking like we can expect something before too long. In a new report from Fudzilla, their sources tell them that AMD is planning to release both the 6600 XT and non-XT cards on August 11th. Those cards are said to be based on the Navi 23 GPU with up to 8GB of GDDR6. The 6600 XT looks to come with 2048 cores, while the non-XT model would get 1792. Now, when it comes to that date, Cortex seems to think the non-XT model will be coming later, specifically sometime in September or October, and that Navi 24 is coming at the end of this year. Basically, it could still be up in the air, but as of now, both cards are likely right around the corner. Of course, with all this new hardware coming out, it can get tough to know what to buy. That's why I offer my PC hardware suggestions at kit.co slash gamermelt. In it, I go over why you may want to buy one thing over another, from GPUs to CPUs and more, as well as provide tips when buying certain components. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment, and I'll try to reply as soon as I can. Plus, when you make a purchase, it helps the channel out at no additional cost to you. So don't wait and visit kit.co slash gamermeld or click the link in the description below. Next up, it looks like Nvidia's upcoming hopper-based GPUs are set to come out before too long. The new leak was originally posted by known leaker Graymon55 and later 3dcenter.org and video cards. As you can see, he tweeted out something pretty cryptic, but one user figured it out. It says, Nvidia's hopper will tape out soon. Now, I will say that Graymon55 later deleted the tweet, but as usual, that probably just means it's real. Either way, if you remember, hopper is set to be Nvidia's first MCM-based GPU. And according to earlier tweets from leaker copite 7 kimmy we could be looking at upwards of 288 SMs, which is over two and a half times more than Nvidia's A100 GPU. As video card states, this makes a mid-2022 launch plausible. Basically, multi-chip module GPUs are definitely the future, given Intel, AMD, and Nvidia are likely set to launch MCM-based cards in the next couple years. Next up for today, if you've been following the channel, you know that qualification samples for Intel's upcoming 12,900K have been selling for some pretty wild prices. Before that, I discussed a leaker who estimated the performance using scores from older engineering samples. Well, we now have the actual performance of the CPU in Cinebench R20, and it's incredible. Oh, and really quickly, you may notice that it says the 12,900KS, but Raichu clarified that it was a typo. It is the 12,900K. Either way, when using Guru3D's benchmark for reference, we can see that the multi-core performance is around 11% faster than AMD's 16-core 5950X, which is a big deal. Remember that the 12900K is ultimately set to compete with AMD's 5900X. And given 12th gen doesn't have some giant price increase, Intel's upcoming CPUs are a big deal. But that isn't even the biggest part. When we look at single core performance, we can see that the 12900K is nearly 26% faster than AMD's 5950X, and that matters because it means workloads that don't use more than the 8 big cores in the 12900K will likely have some amazing multi-core performance. Now, with that said, Raichu did state that the CPU was water-cooled, but there wasn't an overclock, so the part was still at stock clocks. At the end of the day, Intel's upcoming 12th gen CPUs are looking like a very real upgrade. Then again, AMD's 3D parts are coming soon as well. And lastly for today, we have a really odd story that's more or less unfolding as I write this, but multiple outlets have reported on it, so let's get to it. In a new report originally from Windows Central and multiple forums, including Reddit, Amazon's New World Beta is literally bricking RTX 3090 GPUs. Now, I will say that the main culprit for actually breaking looks to be the EVGA 3090, but other 3090s have been having issues as well. 
graphically challenged claims that it's EVGA's fault, and in a way, that may be true. EVGA's 3090 could simply be failing before other cards, but it's definitely causing problems with other 3090s. Don't forget that when the 3080 first launched, I discussed some problems that were occurring thanks to some cards using POSCAPs instead of MLCCs. NVIDIA later put a band-aid on it by launching a driver that basically turned things down. As for why this is happening so much in Amazon's new games seems to involve the uncapped FPS, but of course, tons of other games have that as well. I'm guessing that something in the game is allowing the 3090 to override its driver limits or it's causing some voltage spikes to somehow occur. As of now, there hasn't been official word from Amazon or anyone really. The fix seems to be limiting the FPS in game, but I'd be careful there as the menus aren't FPS limited either, so you run the risk of messing up your GPU before you can cap the frame rate. At the end of the day, if you're running a 3090, I'd be really careful playing the New World beta, and if there's an update on it, I'll make sure to pin a comment below. So while that does it for today, are you excited for Intel's upcoming 12th gen CPUs, or are you just having issues with your 3090? Let me know down in the comments below, and if you liked the video, please subscribe, and as always, have a great day!